Hi, Chill Chaggy here, and welcome to this lesson of Edge Mentoring. And I'm very excited to present you a few key ideas that I believe can change your entire business approach, your entire mindset, if you really dig deep into the meaning of each of these points. So basically, I believe in order to become successful in online marketing, to build a massive income using the internet, and it's really not so important what niche you're in, whether your niche is affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, list building, or product creation, or social media, whatever it is that you should be doing. There are three components that determine how successful you will be. And the first component here, as you can see, is lifestyle alteration. And I believe when we start off in this business, when we start the journey of being an online marketer, we actually don't even know what our lifestyle is right now, or actually what lifestyle we need in the future to become successful, right? To make more money, to reach higher levels of revenues and brands. So what we need to focus on, what we need to figure out is that we simply focus on really changing the way we live. Like for instance, our environment, like where we work or how we work plays a huge part in whether we will become successful in this business or not. And I believe the way you live, your lifestyle, that determines most of your success or failure in your online business because people who are successful, they have mastered a new sort of lifestyle. They don't live the way they used to live two years ago. They had to change. And being an online information entrepreneur takes a lot more than we may want to believe. It takes a lot of sweat, it takes a lot of focus, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of money until we can never even think about producing the results that we are capable of producing. So it's important that when we look at the business, right, when we look at online marketing, we see it as something new, as something different, and something that requires a different approach. It requires a different lifestyle. You may have worked a job in the past and you may only have been used to working four hours a day and you had a break every hour for you know five to ten minutes so you had a five to ten minutes break each hour and you had a boss telling you what to do and what you should not do and right now you may start off in the journey of being an online marketer and this looks entirely different <laughs> right you don't really have someone telling you what you should do because now you are in charge of your action now you are the person executing your daily tasks or not so it's important that we are honest with us we tell ourselves that we got to take that seriously we have to spend the time to actually develop the skills because only when we spend the time and money to develop the skills, we will be able to actually get to where we want. So the lifestyle alteration is a huge part of any business, especially when you used to be an employee and you get into the path of being an entrepreneur. It's a lot easier to actually keep probably stuck to your current lifestyle if you have worked business already because it may look very similar to what it is online but in case you have not worked a business yet and you have no idea what it takes and who you need to work with how you need to spend your time how you need to focus how you need to actually get stuff done then you may need to change a lot now there are two more points I want to talk about second point is the investment of dollars per month there are so many people telling me Cheryl I want to make 10,000 US a month. And I say, well, that's great. You can do it. You can make 10,000 US a month. It's no problem. And then they ask, well, I don't really want to invest money to actually make 10,000 a month. 
But you have to consider one thing. If you don't invest money in your business, you will never be in business. You will never be in business if you don't invest money. And the good news here, my friends, is that if you invest money, you can easily leverage your money for your time instead of working yourself to death. Working each day 10 to 16 hours, you have become much smarter by simply investing maybe a thousand to two thousand dollars a month if you want to make ten thousand a month into your business and if you can invest a thousand to two thousand dollars in paid advertising a month it shouldn't be too difficult to really make ten thousand US a month because what I've seen in my business is I spend in between ten to twenty percent of what I make each month in paid advertising and if I would not spend that money it would be hard if not impossible to actually make five figures a month it would be hard for me so when we see this business when we see the path of actually being an entrepreneur we have to really tell ourselves and make clear that we have to invest money we have to sweat, we have to invest time because that's the only way it's ever going to work and we can't really go into business with the mindset I'm going to make 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 US a month without doing what it takes to get there, meaning without spending the time, without spending the money, just, you know, I'm just going to try to do things on my own but I'm not really willing to commit 100% of my time and money but you have to do that it's the only way it will ever work for you because I have experienced it myself and I've seen so many people got into trouble because their mindset was more focused on actually not taking risks on not sweating, on not working hard so it never reached a goal but people who really take the risks people who don't mind investing money people who are not scared to invest their time and money have a much higher chance of succeeding in online marketing than people who simply yeah I want to try you know, maybe it's gonna work maybe not people who think like that will probably not make it. but people who have the mindset on the they don't care about investing time and money they will probably make it. as long as you don't stop producing as long as you're producing and giving your best and investing your time and money it will be super fine so what does it mean? Let's say your goal is maybe you're just starting off and your goal is to make 3,000 US a month to replace your income from your job, which is totally fine. There will be a small goal, maybe, you know, a three month goal, a six month goal. So what does it take to actually make 3,000 US a month? Well, it's probably gonna take at least 10 to 15 hours a week for your business and it's also, of course, going to take some financial investment. And how much is it going to be? Well, I would say at least a couple hundred dollars at first. You have to invest. Let's say you build a business um, by generating leads and selling affiliate products or your own products to your list, to your leads. So what does it take? Well, you've got to have hosting. You've got to have an autoresponder service. You have got to buy a domain. You've got to invest in coaching. You have got to invest in paid ads and you have to invest your time too. So there are at least six points you've got to invest, but in terms of money, you have to invest, as I said, in hosting, in buying a domain, in your autoresponder service, and also in coaching and paid advertising. If you don't invest in these things, I'm sorry, you will never make 3000 a month. If you just say, well, I'm just going to bring the minimum investments, which would be the domain hosting and the autoresponder service, which is maybe only $20, $25 a month. But you don't actually take the risk to hire a coach who actually makes $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month, even $10,000 a month, who can show you how to make $3,000 a month like that. Now, you have to bring that investment, whether you like it or not. It's part of the business. You're not playing an online game. Right? You're not playing a free online game on Facebook where you don't need to take risks. You're in business, you've got to take some risk. And if you hire people to do stuff for you, outsourcing or 
hiring a coach, you've got to check their states. You have to check how they did in the past, how uh, massive and strong their brand is, what they did to actually make money and who they work with, whatever it is. You have to figure that out. So, this is a very important part and it only works with investment. If you want to make 5000 a month, you've got to invest at least five hundred to a thousand dollars a month to actually make that amount. And if you get to a point where you want to make, in you know, thirty thousand a month, you've got to invest, you know, at least three to five thousand a month in or advertising, in outsourcing, and everything. If not, you're not never gonna get there because you can't do all the work by yourself. You've got to outsource. You've got to invest in paid advertising. You've got to work with partners, you've got to work with coaches, you've got to take the next step. And the same is true for, you know, investing your time. You can't just sit there on the sofa and say, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to be successful. I mean, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way, it really doesn't. You have to invest your time. And at first, you have to invest even more time because you have to learn the skills that it takes to actually get from where you are right now, right? You're starting off at a skill set level like that. And the level where you need to be in order to make 3000 a month may be here. And the level where you have to be in order to make 10000 a month may be here. And the level you need to achieve in order to make 40000 a month maybe higher up here, right? So what that means is you have to invest time to develop skills. For instance, if you want to become an expert in this building and product creation, you've got to learn a very specific um, criteria of skills. And these skills are, for instance, learning how to create a product learning how to set up an email campaign, learning how to write a sales page, learning how to set up an opt-in page. You have to learn how to write an email campaign. I said, you have to learn how to brand yourself. You have to learn how to actually build a connection between your list and you so that you both can communicate on the same level. You have to learn how to create products and coaching programs. You have to learn how to work with partners. You have to learn how to format uh, an ebook and set up a membership site to get more people into your coaching program. I mean, there's so many skills that you need to learn if you want to reach a high level of income using list building and product creation. And that's just an example. Maybe your goal is to become an expert in SEO. Maybe your goal is, you know, to become good at CPA marketing. But no matter what you do, you should be investing your money and time in your business. It's the only way it works and that's what I've learned for myself and I knew it produces results for me. If it would not be producing results for me, I would not be standing here today and teaching you that knowledge. So that being said, study these three points here. There are three commitments you have to make if you want to become successful in online marketing and these three commitments are you have to change your lifestyle, lifestyle alteration, investment of X dollars per month, depending on how much you want to make, then investment of X amount of hours per month, depending on how much you want to make again, and how fast you want to grow, how fast you want to develop, how fast you want to make money. So that's it from this lesson of Edge Mentoring. I really hope you enjoyed this training. And if you have questions, just leave me a comment below and we will talk about it. All right. Have a good day.